God damn it. <laughs> I, I tried to break him this time. Oh, I think we got it. Did we get it? We did. Five seconds? Oh, that was the easiest five seconds of my life. No. I waited, in, I waited until three seconds. Like, I counted to three and then I started doing it because I was like, Alex can't hold it in too long. Yeah. <laughs> he immediately started laughing. <laughs> we should count how many seconds it took for him to start laughing. I was, I was laughing on the inside. Oh, so... Can I introduce us? Yes. Just kidding. You don't start a you don't start a podcast asking if you can introduce yourself. <laughs> this is Hidden Shadows of the Secret Chamber. We are coming at you for our Friday flick review of the week. And my name is Nekonsi. Wow, that was some that was something new. I liked that it. That was something new, yeah. I loved it. I like this Nekonsi. Yeah, uh, that guy over there. Nikonsi. He's sitting to my right. He's always on my right side. That's Alex. Definitely always on his right side. Definitely sitting right there. Definitely yep. not not sitting there. I'm Khan. Yeah. Yeah, and he's holding my left hand. Yep. Where with my right hand. We hold Not hands. Not to be confused with my left hand. Well, yeah, it's more like a, a triangle kind of meeting, like yes. superpower group, you know? They triangle like is a very... I like to pretend that I get to be the the Triforce of Wisdom. Oh. Yeah. And then and then Alex gets to be the Triforce of Courage, and then Nikonsi is the Triforce of Power, but in a good way, because he's not Ganon. Triangles are super powerful. I mean, think about Jesus. The Trinity. Whoa. That's right. Damn. That's right. Whoa. And then think about Trinity in the Matrix. Whoa. She Holy was pretty cool. Wa gamole. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get that with my burrito today so I can feel and powerful. Then, and then think about what is you know, what makes up the points on a five pointed star. Oh. Triangles. triangles. Five triangles. Oh god. Fucking triangles. And you know what's important about that is that that was a reference to Captain America played by Chris Evans, which is part of today's episode. Woo woo. He played Which also could be about triangles, honestly. Alright. <laughs> I am so excited to review Asses Out. I'm just so excited. Oh, oh wait. Yeah. So it was wait a such a good That's not the movie. Up. Hold on. That's not no. the movie such we watched. Oh. Sorry. Oh, Asses damn Asses. it, guys. Hold. I watched the Oh. Did you oh. watch Ass Asses Out? Is that what I you I did. Okay. I did watch Asses Out. Oh, oh fuck. shit. Okay. God well, damn it. Well, we watched okay. Knives Out. Um Well, I mean, I saw that with you too, but I didn't know which one we were reviewing. Oh, okay. No, then that's good. That's good. We Oh, okay. We can Okay. We're still okay. We okay, can okay. we can do asses okay. out Everything next. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> no, Junior, come back. He watched it. We're fine. Oh, shit. Everybody's gonna think I'm some kind of porn maniac. This is bad. <laughs> That's two episodes in dead. a row. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he is, guys. Don't worry. What? Okay. Basil, Basil closed the door. It's locked. Thank you, Basil. Uh, I wasn't. I, I'm stuck in here with you. Maniacs and want to use porn fiend. E, yeah, and nikonsi has got. We're all porn fiends. That's right, and with a very strong Wi-Fi signal, it's gonna be a good time. Um, but knives out, guys. Uh, what was this? Now, how many movies has Chris Evans done after uh, Endgame? Is this his first good, one? Good question. And let me clarify that for you with my <laughs> splendid knowledge of Chris Evans' filmography. This is such good filler <laughs> while he searches it. <laughs> so... He actually was in a documentary as the narrator for Superpower Dogs. Have no idea what that is. What and then the he fuck? was in a film called The Red Sea Diving Resort, which is a spy thriller film. And it actually looks really good. It came out on Netflix 
on July 31st, and for some reason, we missed it. But、oh. it, it has Sir Ben Kingsley in it, and I feel like we need to watch it. We do. That was on my list of casual watching that I set aside because I have a list of things that I watch that I give zero fucks about talking about on the podcast. And I looked at that and I was like, oh shit, that actually looks good. Damn it. Fuck. But、right. after that, definitely knives out. Yeah, yeah. No, he was so good in this movie. He was like,、uh, actually, and and it's not a spoiler alert. He was like a bad guy in this movie, and it was super, like, cool to see him through that different lens instead of being like the goody two shoe Captain America that we all love. We and it was hilarious. It. Yeah, because the the girls behind us were swooning when he walked onto the. The screen. Oh yeah,、Jesus. for sure. They're like, oh, Chris, Chris Evans. Oh, there he is. And I was secretly swooning as well. I was, a, I was swooning I was, a little bit too. I was like, ooh, your pectorals are looking like you've been working on them. He, I was not secretly swooning.、I、he was, was just swooning. Jealous. Were... He was just swooning. Dude, I mean, fuck that mother. He's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna keep the Captain America physique no matter what because it's、I'm、just. I'm here now, and I can do that. Exactly. Which, like, if you've seen him in some of his older roles, it's like he's definitely like a lit, like scrawnier. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Comparison. It's weird. It's like a weird like. No, now he just gained like twenty pounds of muscle that's toned, and it's like I have to keep it at all times. I I understand why. Once you reach that level, that level of power, then why wouldn't you? But I mean, like that's 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 a different kind of power. Like I'm pretty sure that I have like forty pounds of love, and I keep that for myself.、Mm. Minimum forty pounds of love. You gotta give that love out. You gotta no, live、I、that love out. I can't, I can't give the love away because I have to love myself. Yes,、yeah. a very important message for all of our listeners: love thyself. No, love me. <laughs> love, love Junior, so that he can continue、God. to love himself. Gosh,、um, Alex. Okay, remember this number forty-four. Okay, forty-four.、Um, other than that,、uh, this movie is super dope. I, I, I guess it's a who done it, guys. Who done it? Someone got killed.、Uh, a lot of suspects. It's about. A, a rich family fighting over an inheritance, and then the Latina. Uh, nurse Marta Cabrera, played by Anna de Armas.、Uh, she's like, remember this number, sixteen. Okay,、um, <laughs> she's trying to help with the investi- investigation. She was the caretaker for、um, the the main guy, the the father. Eleven. The father's name was Harlan Thromby. Let's pause for a second. Thromby, really? That's the name they gave this family. Yep. Thromby. I just kept thinking of Harambe. <laughs> Me too, a little bit. Anyway, uh, but I I really enjoyed it. Is Daniel Craig James Bond? Yeah. Yes, he is. That's <laughs> why I was like, and he is now Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny because like Anna. Uh, the Armas is also in that new James Bond movie with Daniel Craig, which oh for reals, yeah she is. But it's so funny because Daniel Craig was hilarious in this fucking movie. He, he was amazing. I want to see him in more roles like this. Just funny, right? And kooky. yeah, yeah he he did such a good job. He, he did so many <laughs> serious roles. He was. He like it was like he actually got to act. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely right. It's just、uh, he's got all that pent up inside of him. He just wants to blossom and let it out, guys. The last time I really saw him, you know, fulfill an acting role when he played、um, Stormtrooper F nine dash one eight two four in Star Wars: The Force Awakens. <laughs> that that was a phenomenal、uh, uncredited cameo that. He really, you know, used amazing character work to、Damn. be silent for that long. Fuck, to do I... the head nods just right. What part was this? I forgot. I need to go back and watch it. 
Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll show you. Oh. I'll show you. I'll definitely show you. Okay, okay. All right. I don't like how many times you said that you'll show me, but <laughs> I'm a little nervous I just, now. I just want to make sure that I show you, okay? Okay. okay. All right. Thank the, you. The last time I saw him in some good character work like this was in Logan Lucky. Yeah. Which was a very fun heist comedy film that came out in 2017. I have not watched that. Oh, you haven't? It's with Channing Tatum and Adam Driver. Oh. I can't believe it's been that long. And geez. Katie Holmes. That's and Hilary Swank. That's an all-star cast right there. Holy and shit. And Sebastian Stan, who's the Winter Soldier. Oh, fuck. Okay, we need to yeah, watch this. We need to watch. You're going to love need, this You film. need to watch this. Also, like, it's, it is, if, the, if our viewers haven't figured out Despite the fact that we are we enjoy kung fu movies and action films, it is Nakansi's all time favorite is probably the heist. Oh really? I like I like me a good heist film. He loves a good heist film. It's probably the top of the guilty pleasures list because he's 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 greedy for it. <laughs> I like the I like the setup and the payoff, which was how um this film that we saw Knives Out was you you got to see a, a long setup and then you got to see the payoff at the very end where they explain everything. I just love how they they made us think as a, as a watcher um, or a viewer that the plot was going to be super predictable. I'm like yeah, yeah. All right. I, I was like yeah, out. all right, all right, all right. And then they're like, ah, nope, it's not going to be how you think. So, um, and this, this uh was the point where I was like, okay, you know, everybody is ranting and raving about this movie saying it's fantastic. I mean, it's a good film. It's fun. It's all right. And then the second half, I was like, oh, this film is fantastic. Yep. Um, well, since we want to kind of keep us within our 30 minute, uh, format. Did we want to touch on some badass moments? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Uh, it's 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 kind of like it's weird because it's like, again, it's not an action movie. That's kind of our format that we have our podcast set up. And we for. don't want to spoil the mystery. Yeah. So That's spoiler alert: if you haven't seen this film yet, but this film has been out since Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's about to it's bit. about to come off of their theater run. So, so your your fault. But like, spoiler alert. Like I th yeah, I was just trying to say like to be fair, if you haven't seen it, spoiler alert. And if you have seen it, I hope you enjoy what we are about to have fun with because my personal badass moment was again, we love we, we, we the Trong brothers love heist movies for different reasons. For me it is Feeling like a gameplay plan has been effect is has gone into effect and seeing the plan play out mechanically, right? Yes. So, w which isn't too different, but is different enough that I'm bringing it up in that. Uh, so in Knives Out, my particular badass moment is directly related to the fact that that's when my brain exploded and went into deep thought and deep analysis, and that was. When they show the go board the first time, when they're explaining how Harlan dies from um, Alex, nurse's name. Marta, name. Marta Cabrera. Marta. So when Marta is being questioned by Daniel Craig and then it, you start seeing flashbacks and stuff and they mention the go board, I was like, oh, well, I mean, they, like normally when a go board or a chess board or some sort of game board is shown, like they're sh they're trying to tell you something, but then they showed the game being played, and that is what like threw me for a huge loop, and I thought that that was badass because getting to see that game, which I have played incredibly casually and really really poorly before, suddenly played like 
on screen to show you the strategy and to talk about it and like it's a very deep game lots of philosophical stuff also ties into if you haven't read it hikaru no go which is literally a manga about go <laughs> yes i have read it yeah and end end my badass moment okay i love it <laughs> all right uh my badass moment was not really a moment uh i think it was just uh marta cabrera herself i think that her character was just awesome she was just a a good-natured person uh a nurse and she just cares for not only her family uh and friends but her her patients and her patients families so I really like how her character was set up and how her good nature came to be a, a like a big like was very instrumental in moving this plot along. So that was my badass moment. My badass moment was the shoe. And that's all I really want to say because in a movie, I, oh, I like shit. I like to pay attention to, like, okay, that's kind of weird for them, for the detective, uh, to to notice to not notice something or notice certain things. I like to see what he notices, uh, because I love Sherlock Holmes, and and I was wondering, okay, I was like, obviously, that's a huge point. Like, how would he miss? what is you know the shoe and at the very near the very end when he explains everything and he goes and obviously the shoe (laughs) and i'm like oh thank you thank you yes it was was that little bit tie-in for your reality you're like nobody would nobody would miss this it's right there yeah i was like it's obvious it's right there but he let it play out because obviously he knew it. So he just let her play through the whole thing. He pretty much like, had strong uh, assumptions for everything. But it was at the very end where he came to his conclusion. And he came to it on the spot because he, she was about to reveal everything. And he was like, stop. Now it all makes sense. Let me let's go back through this. You're you are not at f- fault, just bad circumstances. I do I do like uh, the way he stopped um, <laughs> her revealing. <laughs> that was kind of a badass moment in that it was super comical, but also that everything was coming together. So we as the audience was already super worked up. And like it was kind of clicking into place for us too. We're just like simultaneously as an audience being like, oh, 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 oh I think I know. I think I, and he's about to explain it. Right. So it was so great. It was fantastic. The whole, the the core of the story outside of the whodunit mystery is striving us along on the feeling of an underdog and being sympathetic with, Mar- uh, with Marta. Literally, it, it, the the under like it pulls us along with us not wanting to believe that marta is in on this thing that can be considered a murder right because logically with real with like our real world stuff which is what part of you know knives out takes place in like real world fiction you know yeah it it would be like no she would be she would be an assistant in the suicide Right. Or, or right? Like she would be condemned for that. Dude, and, and that's also what they brought up which is the the slayer rule which I don't want to look up if it's a real law or not, but like again, she would then not if it was suicide or uh if she was the culprit, then she would not inherit anything. Like we're, we're rooting for her. Right? There was so many it was such a web of the moral questions and like second guessing what it is that's really going on and I loved it um I do have one more badass moment and it's very short and we don't have to 
elaborate on it. But I loved that the uh, the maid had a secret um, s- compartment. Smoke, smoke for, stash. <laughs> for, yeah, for her joints. And I thought that was awesome and cool. And that's all I'm going to say about that. It was amazing. Uh, my other, not not another badass moment. This is more of an afterthought to uh, closing up our review. Is oh, we got to do number ratings. Did you wanna? Did you wanna hold on to that before, or so that we can do the number ratings and you can do your closing thoughts? Well, now I lost it, so now I have to rethink it anyway. So ah, damn ahead. it! I apologize. Ah, okay. damn it! He did it on purpose. <laughs> I trolled you. Cut me <laughs> off. Wait, 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 wait. Next thing you know, he's going to play Cloud. Ooh, I will play Cloud. Go Team Cloud. <laughs> Mash that B button. Uh, I want to give this movie a... Uh, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 because what? I will watch it again. And uh, I just enjoyed the shit out of it. It's not a 10 I, out of 10 for me, but it's a 9 out of 10. I also give it a 9 out of 10 because I will watch it again sooner than later. I don't want to watch it like right away, but I, I'm i like, I will watch it again with a with a new group of family and friends. Oh, yeah. So I can get more people to watch this movie. For sure. And then I can just watch their reactions. Isn't that like such a delight? It is. I, I want to watch it with Patty. Oh yeah, I like want we Patty. should all watch it again. I Patty needs to watch this film. I want you guys to watch the Dragon Prince so I can do exactly what you just said. I'm on episode six. I'm on episode three. Yay, they're watching it. Check ah. it out. <laughs> uh, yeah, June. Check it. <laughs> what's your uh, <laughs> What's your number rating? <laughs> Check out what's that? I give this movie an easy 9 out of 10. This was a fun, 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 fun murder mystery with, like, just the pacing was amazing. And, like, everything in this movie was fun for me. The And then, again, what blew my mind is it's like when I bullet count. All of a sudden, I'm I'm more into the movie because I'm like, yeah. Bullet counts. They're they're those are plausible. They're showing real like somewhat realistic reloads. Guns aren't infinite. That's amazing. In this movie, it is yeah murder mystery. Everything has a slightly deeper meaning. Every character has their own motivations and shit. This was fucking cool. Which leads me to my afterthought, pre thought, pre after, post afterthought. Um, which just means double after, I guess, in that last one. The point being that I feel like I need to watch other Rian Johnson movies to figure out if he is as respected a director as he is and they he was just fucked in the ass super hard on Star Wars. He did uh, The Last Jedi, right? That was episode eight, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it he was... did Looper. But that's that's what I mean. Like he did Looper, and I love Looper. But the like, but like Looper and this are the only movies that I know of that isn't episode eight. And episode eight was so <laughs> fucked in the ass. It really was. It was all over the place. Uh, like episode eight was bad. In the sense of it was all over the place, whereas the guy who did Enchant, um, no, uh, 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 Maleficent two, who also did the last Pirates of the Caribbean, but like, like I don't hate on those two. Like I don't harp and hate on those as much as I hate on eight. But I know that you, Alex, you're like, like literally, like it's all over the place. It doesn't feel like a good story at all. It's incoherent, like. But you know what was really good about episode eight? The very last fight scene where everything is red. That was a straight kung fu scene. That scene was shot so well that it became a meme for a couple of months. 
and people would just edit that scene with other songs to it. Kind of in a homage to like Simon Pegg's um, zombie killing scene in Shaun of the Dead when they're in the pub. You know what? The, like you know, a good fight scene is is you know powered up when kind of like you know kind of like in in knives out where you had the big reveal and we, we as audience members were all worked up and emotional about it i feel like we i wasn't worked up and emotional about this final fight scene and i think that's why i didn't appreciate it as much um it was cool and all but i was like yeah but i just sat through like two hours worth of shit <laughs> like that's only because that that whole fleet space part it, it was just, done so poorly. That it was yeah. really, it was done really, really poorly. If they would have just shortened that part, it would have made it much, much better. Yeah, you know, we're just gonna make a Hidden Shadows of the Secret Chamber director's cut of the film. Like, yeah, and we're gonna just take thirty minutes out of the film and and you know speed up some parts and give you the really good chunks because and bleed right into Rise of Skywalker. Because Episode Eight, the thing is, is that. I am a huge war fan between the three of us, which we already know from the list of games that I play and recommend. Also, I've been playing MechWarrior 5, which just released on Tuesday. Point being that that space battle was fucking cool, and I still felt like it had nothing to do with the fucking story. And then we also had fucking uh, Finn and uh, what's her name? Rose. Who crashed oh, that- on the planet, and it's like, this is a whole other story going All right. on. All right, before we get off of this tangent, we'll <laughs> save this for our Star Wars pod. Oh, yeah, uh, that's a good point. It's a really who, good point. Do you remember the numbers that I was talking about? Because they're 44 very important. and 16 and 16. And my last number is 11. So, Chris Evans was in 44 films. Damn! 16 of them were superhero or comic book films. Damn! And 11 of them he played as Captain America. Damn! Almost half of his films, (laughs) he has been a superhero. Damn, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. He's a a great actor. I thought he was fantastic uh, in this movie. So I want to see more Chris Evans. Based on his social media presence and his interview presence... He seems like a genuinely like not a dickhole. No, he's really nice. You know, he's so nice. He's a nice guy. Like, he's such a good boy. Which I, is different. I would from, let him cradle me. Which is different from Ryan Reynolds <laughs> like, being a dickhole. I would be the small spoon, and that'd be okay. But like, he's a he's nice like, dickhole. Ryan Reynolds yeah. is a nice dickhole. Yes, he is. Ryan Reynolds is like, fantastic. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryan Reynolds, I would probably, you know, cradle him. I would be the big spoon, but oh, yeah. unless he wants to be the big spoon, then you got It depends. Be, it know. depends. Yeah. Yeah. If he wants to be the big spoon, then you're like, "Okay." <laughs> All right, guys. Well, on that note, I think we hit our 30-minute marker. I'm going to just do a few plugs. Make sure you guys follow us on Instagram at HSTSC33, also our Twitter handle, and then on Facebook, you can find us at Hidden Shadows of the Secret Chamber. And um, we're moving. Have, yeah. Yeah. We're moving to Anchor FM, guys. I mean, you could still find us on all the regular platforms that you listen to. Currently. But yes. Uh, but we will be moving. And then also our child, our offspring podcast, Sidetrack podcast, will be moving out. They're getting their own apartment. So you can find them at the sidetrack podcast and um and from moving from now on at, at at the beginning of the year it will just be hidden shadows of the secret chamber um the junior you had uh i think you had a plug you wanted to plug this right here is a nice ceramic Butt plug from the 1800s. Mm, Never before so used. Look at that. Look at that. I think that's mahogany. Ah, <laughs> it smells great. For now. <laughs> For now. No. Uh, what I actually am trying to plug is be sure to at the uh, tw- at the Hidden Shadows Twitter. You know, maybe add us and tell Alex to play games 
And yes. We can set. We're we're looking into uh you know having Alex not be a non gamer for as long as he can. Ooh, one day. Uh, uh, once a week, maybe twice a month. Who knows? The point is, is that I'm sure that there's some recommendations out there for things for us to look into. They don't always have to be scary games because we don't need Alex to not not be in the hidden shadows, in the <laughs> hidden secret chambers, being sad. But also over at twitch.tv forward slash cookie ninja carve, you can watch me continue to entertain you while being entertaining myself while I entertain myself and I also try new things like you know sleeping on my left arm and <laughs> tapping with it in the morning stop this reaching <laughs> around. I was just I don't know when you were going to stop <laughs> <laughs> that was good that was funny.